morning, and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Tuesday, April 26th, the second Tuesday of Easter, and it is the feast day of St. Maria Guadalupe Garcia Zavala. That's kind of wordy, but um, she was a uh, she was around in the 1800s and died in 1963, was not, which was not that long ago. Uh, but she was a Mexican Roman Catholic religious sister, and she was a co-founder of the Handmaids of Saint Margarita and the Poor. Um, she was also known as Mother Lupita, which would have been a lot easier for me to say. But um, yeah, she dedicated herself um, to taking care care of of sick people, and she was noted for her deep sense of compassion and faith. Um, so she was canonized by Pope Francis in May of 2013. And she is a patron saint of nurses, as well as the handmaids of Saint Margarita and the poor. So that is Saint Maria Guadalupe Garcia Zavala. Today's gospel is from John chapter 3, verses 16 through 21. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and the Spirit. Amen. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light, so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light, so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. So we have um, one of the more popular, well-known verses of John 3.16. Um, so that we might not perish, but have eternal life. So like, just the fact that Jesus came to us from heaven, um, from God the Father, is just a testament of God's mercy and love for us, that he wants us to have the opportunity to be saved, which we all are, unless we choose not. You know, because, of course, you know, there is not a guarantee that every single one of us is going to go to heaven. Um, and that's why we need to live our life in accordance with God's will um, and open to faith and trust and hope in Him. Like, and we can't just blindly ignore everything God is asking us to do. Um, but also, he, he didn't come to condemn us and like we can't treat Him as if He's constantly you know, nitpicking every little thing. And like He realizes our human nature. He realizes our desires and He realizes our weaknesses. But that's why we need to, like the battle was real every single day. Um, in many moments throughout the day, um, because he came to save us. Um, he doesn't want to condemn us. Condemn us. We, in fact, he doesn't condemn us. Condemn us. We condemn ourselves, because um, we see all the evil going on in the world, and the decisions that people are making. And we can't say that actions don't matter, because clearly they do. Um, and we can just see the evil in our, in people's hearts. But we can also see the goodness in people's people's hearts, and that's what Jesus is focused on, of always seeing the good. In other people's hearts because we are exposed to the soul and the heart of other people through our words and through our actions and through our love and compassion but then also through our our fight and hunger for truth um, and some people take it well others don't but Jesus also did not come to make sure that we're feeling good all the time um, because life isn't always sunshine and rainbows so um, we cannot hate wicked. In fact, one of my classes, um, we learned that, you know, of course we are called to love, but we are also called to hate. We need to hate evil because through hating evil and reacting to evil and fighting evil, that is a testament of love, which is just another powerful reminder in itself that God makes good out of, every, out of everything, even our anger and hatred. Um, and we should hate sin. And it should, it should spur us into action. And it should spur us to encourage other people to take their faith a little bit more seriously. Um, 
instead of waiting until they're on their deathbed and suddenly we care. Um, so, but it's never, you know, it's never too late, which is a good thing. Um, but what is it that we are doing? Like, how do we react to God? Do we feel like he comes to constantly condemn us? Or does he come to save us with his love and his charity? I know I personally need to work on thinking that every little thing that I do, if it's not the perfect thing, that I'm going to be condemned because that's not what God wants us to do. Um, so we're all on our own little battle, our own little pathway. So how is yours currently going? And how are you dialoguing this with Jesus so that he can guide you and steer you in the direction of peace um, and comfort within our hearts? knowing that it's not fully going to be attained until we're in heaven. So with all that being said, have a great day. God bless. Keep it real. Father, Son, and Spirit, amen. Be light to others.